Today, you must push your creativity to the limit and create a new school food tattoo. What? What's gonna show off color theory more than a new school tattoo? They're super colorful, bright tattoos with a lot of dynamic shapes. I'm down to eat that up. Oh man, this is gonna get real wacky. One more Ink Master veteran is back for a revenge. And you must prove that you can hold your own against him. He's one of the top new school artists in the country and helped pioneer the style. What? Jimmy Litwak. Knew it. Mr. Litwak. It's no joke. This competition just elevated tenfold. Jimmy is a badass, and I am absolutely nervous to face him. I have an auntie triceratops with her three nephews, and one of her nephews is special to her, so he's the one kind of hatching out of the egg. Megan Jean is doing a very strange tattoo. It's hard to read. So far, the way this is looking, I am not a fan. How you doing over here, boy? Pretty good, I'm gonna be racing to the finish. Dude, what, are you getting slower in your old age? <laughs> right. New school is definitely not an area that I live in. I don't want you to rush through it, man. No. I want you to take your time. I'm trying to think of what eye color to go with. At this point in the competition, I have yet to really be able to plant my feet and pull off a St. Mark tattoo. It's very frustrating. Oh, yeah, red. All I know is I can't go home on this stupid dinosaur tattoo. Uh oh, this kid's getting close. Nice, dude. Nice fades. It's kind of what I do, this style. That's what I'm talking about. It's clean. I know I'm going to do a better tattoo than St. Mark. I'm known for full color tattoos, new school designs. St. Mark is a black and gray artist. It's time for St. Mark to go home. Pack your bags, buddy. Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, new school. And we're judging color theory. Megan Jean. This tattoo is definitely weird. It's solid, it's bright, but it's hard to read exactly what's going on, especially from a distance. The perspective you chose is weird because you don't see enough of the body to see what's going on. It's hard to read. If you look at depth and the richness and the punch that some of the other tattoos in the room have, you really missed it. Alex. What's going on with the color that you kind of split this guy in half? It's just a hard light source on the back side of it. It's a little bit weird. Huge head, weird little body. Oh, is that a surfboard down there? Maybe it is. There's a lot of missed opportunity in the water and the background. You fall flat on drawing. For a guy who was at the bottom last week, you need to be drawing a lot harder and stronger. Do you still want to keep pushing in this place or what? Oh, yeah, I still want to be here. This is it, man. I, I want to be here. That drawing's got to reflect it. It's not about surviving. It's about winning. St. Mark. The color theory on this tattoo, there's not a lot of wow factor. There's some areas of transitions from one color to the next where it's just not really super smooth and blendy. You just didn't capitalize on the color theory of the day. It is pretty weak and patchy in a lot of areas where you really needed to ramp up and you could have used black. It would have been your friend in this. I definitely did take it a little easy on the blacks. I was worried that I was gonna muddy my color up and maybe that was a gamble I, I lost. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Your tattoo, Alex, it is solid, it is vibrant, but if you can't produce a more dynamic drawing, you don't have a hope of winning this thing. I believe that it is a better drawing than St. Mark's. You did like Puff the Magic Dragon on it's some your, kid's leg. Mark, fundamentally, yours looks patchy, your line work looks sketchy, your background doesn't look finished. The whole thing was about color, and purple and orange and gray is not aesthetically pleasing. St. Mark, not hitting the new school thing, that's kind of the expected miss. Color theory, also weak. But your application in this mark is where you fall the shortest. The basic fundamental of the way Megan's tattoo is laid out is a bad idea. It's not a well-constructed drawing. I was wrong in assuming that with new school, I had a lot more wiggle room. You can play with proportions and make it unrealistic, but it always wants to look appealing. It's misshapen. All that blue just makes it look like a big blue circle. Still a much more solid tattoo than you did. You have your opinions, man, but I mean, that's, yeah, that's what we're talking about. It is factually more solid. As far as ink application to the skin on a technical side, Mark, yours is the weakest. But Megan, your drawing today is the one that is the most troubling. The head versus the body, it's not matching. They're just completely different pieces, which gives me a sense that you just pieced it together as you went. All right, final decision, guys. My least favorite tattoo is Megan Jeans. Megan's got clean technical application, bad drawing. Alex has got questionable drawing, very good application. Mark's got questionable drawing and weak application. Today, I gotta pick St. Mark. I don't wanna go home with this tattoo, man. Mark, your colors are least attractive of the three. Are you locked in on Megan Jean? I am. 
I'm locked in on St. Mark. The judges have decided, St. Mark, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You're a great tattooer. Just a weird challenge for you, but this competition is designed to take you out of your comfort zone. It's the way it went, man. I know you love the game. <laughs> I love it. You're sadistic. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thanks. For this elimination tattoo, you must redesign a famous landmark as a new school tattoo. Today's your lucky day. I am known in the tattoo industry for being one of the people who has built new school to what it is today. A good new school tattoo simply cannot be made without good artistry behind it. It is not easy. I wanted to make his head abnormally large, but is his body small enough? The traditional new school, it wasn't just like big eyes and stretchy hands. You can do it any way you want. I usually go into every tattoo super confident, but now I'm really unsure of every move that I'm making. Nikki gives me the Golden Gate Bridge with a surfer. I don't know how about to do this design. I am in a completely different realm. Just the waves coming up here. You have, a, you have a way to pull something up real quick? Yeah. Chris gives me a lot of different references for water, which is more Japanese style, more of his style. That's what I want you to work on, the waves. It scares me to go into that knowing that I feel like I'll be critiqued even harder if I try to do something that he's proficient in. I'll take a little bit of his advice, but I definitely don't want to OD. I don't even know if Tuff Tito has ever seen the Statue of Liberty because his is a really weird, ugly version. She has one eye that's really huge and one eye that's not. That's not new school. That's just not knowing how to proportion a face. Appreciate it. Ooh, thank you for working on Team Nunez, today you had to show artistry by transforming a famous landmark into a new school tattoo. Kevin. The water, it's such a harsh, just unfluid, unliquid, unflattering beginning to this tattoo. Why did you abandon all the good I showed you? A lot of the waves were like super, super detailed, and I didn't know how that would look up against like a super simple drawing. So, the reference. Why did you stop outlining all that rich black outline that's everywhere in the entire body as a perimeter? Just stops, and then everything behind him is not outlined. How does that brain process work? I wanted the wave in the back of his surfboard and the bridge to all be inferred as the background. I abandoned the outline. Your tattoo just looks unfinished. I'm not at all mad about the artistry in this. It was the follow through and the tattooing and the finished look of the tattoo. Nikki. It's questionable whether people are gonna recognize this as the Lincoln Memorial. You've got to force that perspective all the way down so you could show both hands, maybe show more than Memorial. My handicap in this is I've been tattooing for five years. I don't know this style very well. I really dislike the shape of the background. This hard shape patch looks super off. I hate the cupcake frosting hair all the way around the face. What happened? I was struggling a lot with making sure that it wasn't too wacky and too unrecognizable. Your limitations of what you thought was crazy held you back. You got lame. Tito. Testing artistry, I have a multitude of problems with this drawing. The mouth is completely jacked. It's out of shape. Statue of Liberty, seven points on her crown. You have six. And that last point on the other side of the head, there's no way that point is connected to that crown and the direction that crown is turning. It's weird choices. This is where your artistry is falling short. You should have just looked at the Statue of Liberty and drawn your own version. Time to hear from the jury of peers. Team Peck, why did you vote Tito to the bottom? There was just so many things wrong with it. The hairline, the eyes, the eyebrows. He was thinking just because it's new school, he could just do whatever with it, but it still got to look good. But does it look like a Chateau of Liberty? All day. Tito, because where I did you even try me, the I'm drawing process? The biggest letdown of this whole thing is just doing a floating head. It's a monument. And if all you're gonna do to stay in this competition is draw a head, then you wrote your own ticket. You know I got the fundamental. Some of the people, they can't pull straight line from day one. Well, who are you talking about specifically? Kevin's tattoo. You can zoom into any part of that tattoo, and I guarantee you every line in that tattoo is straighter than every line of yours. 
The fact that you did the foreground of your tattoo with a big heavy line and then just fuzzed it out is so questionable, man. Out of today's challenge of all the tattoos, mine was definitely one of the ones that hit all aspects. You definitely see that that's the Golden Gate Bridge behind him. You definitely see that that's a surfer. Well, I made it new school. But with I thought the challenge was a new school landmark. And when I look at that tattoo, I see a realistic landmark. The main point of the tattoo is the man in front. I then thought I it's the landmark, though. But then if that's the case, then who's to say that yours hit the challenge? at all. Keywords today was a landmark, Nikki. So you needed to show more of the image. I think it's not being completely knowledgeable of what New School is. It's yeah, just that, that we don't. This whole body in there. We don't know that this is the memorial. That's the main issue. Judges, time to determine who's going home. Kevin, I do see artistry in the fact that you came up with something creatively and made your landmark and made your little dude and he's new school. I see that as hitting the challenge. Nikki, I don't see the monument. As far as I'm concerned, Kevin is safe and it's between Nikki and Tito. Well, this is your team. Who do you want to see stay? Who do you want to see go? It comes down to this. Tito, you and Kevin have the two lowest report cards and clearly you're here again today. If these were the best two drawings you guys could give to stay in this competition, then I don't see how you're gonna go any further anyway. Seriously, you can't tell me a little man on a stick with an unfinished background is like, yo, I killed it. Drop the mic, walk away, it's all good. It's not. No, I didn't say I killed it at all. Your goal was to beat everybody and not to stand in this room. So is yours. I need a final decision. Tito. Chris. Tito. My vote is also for Tito. The judges have decided. Tito, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Now there's no better test of ingenuity than a new school tattoo. Woo! I absolutely hate this style. I think this is for children and coloring books, not for tattoo artists. With bright, saturated colors and crazy proportions, these images are known for their creative view of the world. New school, it's hard. You have to take something that's boring and flat and make something that you haven't seen before. My time to shine, baby. Go past like that, here. Past okay, that okay, first okay, okay, okay. Everything is awful. We have to squeeze an entire band onto somebody's forearm. And Dane is losing his mind. Nothing exists on the same plane. I get it. Same plane. OK. Stop it. You're pulling a client right now where you're like, um, I don't know about that. You never want canvases to pick apart what you're doing before you're done doing it. But you especially don't want your fellow artist to be doing it. Wait until I'm like done with a thought and then I'll ask you what I think about it. Stop staring at it. You're freaking me out. Hey, April. I think that background's too much. This competition is so stressful, I'm cracking. I just want to get our straight. Don't be mad. Did you put the blue everywhere you wanted it to go or no? No, not everywhere. Do you want to tell me where? When Dane's stressed out, he just needs to like get away so that I can actually concentrate on the tattoo and not concentrate on what's going on in his brain. If you want to do something to this, you have to show me because I don't, I can't get inside your head. I don't know what you're talking about. You got a worried face looking those. You worried? No, I'm just watching. ES is moving too slow. Once again, I'm worried that we're gonna run out of time. This corner right here. Yeah, I'm gonna come in with the white. It's really not that hard. It's a cupcake and three blueberries. I wanted to put uh, like more of a, a, a fleshy pink in there to do some of the caps of the ears high. I don't have a clue of what the I'm doing. Just kind of do what you feel like you need to do. Not only does Hobo not do new school, Hobo doesn't do color. It's a lot of pressure on him to finish this tattoo. Sure, you know what you're doing. I'm losing confidence as I'm doing it and making the wrong palette choices. Man, we're crumbling. Bad. I like your part of it. I'm not really a huge fan of the other two cats around it. Yeah. We grew up. You dropped the ball. No, you did the dope part of the tattoo. We win as a team, we lose as a team. It ain't no you, it ain't no me. We were set to fail from the beginning. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Black Spade Tattoo. Love the drawing. Love the colored palette choices. I love everything but the way you tattooed it. There is not a spot on this thing that is solid. The background, burgundy is not solid. Orange isn't solid. You put all the right stuff and set yourself up for another W. You didn't pull through. Artistic skin design. 
guys, I don't think it's the best drawing. If we look at the hand that's playing guitar, no way, no how do any of those fingers make any sense. And the thumb coming from behind the guitar is crazy. Not a fan of this tattoo. This blue force field is rough. It's just a sea of washed out color. This tattoo looks 20 years old. You guys have done bright, strong tattoos that look like stickers. This one does not. Bone face ink. The drawing is super challenged. These are just two heads growing out of this little body. This little green guy on the left is totally jacked, man. One eye is round and outside of the bottom of the eyelid, and the other eye is squared off and tucked inside the eyelid. The finished product has a very amateur feel to it. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Time to check what the jury appears. Why did you put bone face ink in the bottom? This one was pretty apparent. You know, they, they thought it was the worst one. We kind of all did, too. It was unanimous? Almost. Tom? I voted for Black Spade. Their tattoo application was a little worse than this to me. I will say that Black Spade, they had the perfect canvas, the perfect drawing, and it still led to a bad tattoo. I don't agree. There were some saturation issues, but the lines are good. If you can't see that the lines aren't good, then you might not need to be here either. I don't feel like our lines were bad. Our tattoo's dope. It is jacked. Scratchy lines, scribbly everywhere, nothing is smooth. You did mention drawing is gonna be a strong yes. thing here. I get it, man, but with solid application, you are fighting them for the win. You get that? Of course. The artistic skin design piece. The problem for me is the contrast in this thing. It's hard to read. I personally don't think that our tattoo would need that much help. If you want it to be anatomically correct, you need a laser. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't think that our tattoo is that bad that you need to laser it off. I understand that there's... You don't understand if you're yes, even saying anything. Yes, I do. I understand anything. that there's anatomical errors. I feel very insulted when you say that you want to laser our tattoo off. You could be as insulted as you want. I didn't do the tattoo you did. You're only fighting yourself. All right, time to determine who's going home. Worst tattoo of the day from 10 feet away is the cat. Worst tattoo today up close is that cupcake. For me, Black Spade is readable. It's a new school design. My vote is for Boneface Inc. Boneface Inc. The judges have decided Boneface Inc. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. Please pack your machines and move out. Your first shot to make a team is happening right now. From strategy to specialty, these coaches rival each other in every way. Today, you must tattoo in one of the coaches' completely opposing specialties, black and gray or new school. The subject matter is entirely up to you. Nice. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Your canvases have been randomly assigned and are completely open. But one last thing. Make sure your tattoos require no explanation, because these tattoos will be judged blind. Oh, man. This is going to get ugly. I've been tattooing 20 years now. Clean Rock One has been somebody that I have followed for years through my career. He's a fighter, 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 and so am I. We can have a look at it. I'm going to kill a new school tattoo, so that way Clean knows that's a guy that I need on my team. You look like you're a lot more focused than some of the other people here. I want to be more focused than the other people here. I'm awesome at New School. And the fact that I get to do it right off the bat and create my first impression with it, it gives me a huge advantage. This is the best case scenario. I'm about to kill it. I think that I'm a great artist. I have nowhere yet met my potential, you know what I'm saying? All right, should we get into this? Let's do it. Let's take a look at these tattoos. This one's weak. It's got a really thin outline for something that's supposed to be new school and bold. The color looks like it's been sanded down. Team clean all day. It's like somebody hit him with a baseball bat. <laughs> Shots oh. fired. Oh. This tank master gives me a new asshole. Next tattoo. Thank you. Rough color application. Really bad saturation here. Not packed in. Is that what new school means? Don't Dude, have to do nothing right. Just shut the oh. Next up. Oh, boy. Anywhere you look in solid fields of color, it's not solid. Not something I'm gunning for. You can have them. That's good news for me. That's the team I wanted to be on. First glance, I really like the goofiness of this tattoo. And then once you get on it, man, the blue is a little jacked is what the blue is. All of us here are not on the same playing field. For this challenge, you must push past the ordinary and create 
new school tattoos. <laughs> you guys heard of the shit, new school? What is it? Sensation sweeping the nation. I'm so excited. This is like my shit. A lot of people have the preconceived notion that a new school tattoo is a giant head with big googly eyes and a tiny little body, but it's more than that. And you have to know how to draw for this style. I might have to switch up this whole design, honestly. The whole body situation is just driving me crazy, so I'm about to just try to convince him to get a cowboy horse, especially with the time. I think that's a good idea. All right. All right, so I had troubles putting a horse and having it proportionally right on the body. Right, OK. So I feel like the safe way for me to do it is do a cowboy horse. No, I, I still kind of want the horse riding the man. It just has to look like the horse is on top of the man. If you were to do something where the man is in front and he's blocking the horse body, would that be something you'd be? I mean, I can settle cool for with? that. I just I don't want like a horse man combination. I am struggling for real. Poor fun. I knew he was gonna have a hard time with this one. He doesn't draw like at all. I just wanted to make sure he's sitting on the cowboy. Like, it really looks like it, basically. I'm a photorealism guy. I use reference photos for all my tattoos. If you were taking a photo and there was a camera here mm -hmm. and the cowboy reared up like That's what that. I was trying to do. There are no reference photos of a horse riding cowboys on the internet. I just want to make sure I finish this tattoo. Yeah. Lost on him. It's a possibility. I knew I wasn't going to be getting set up with the easiest ass, but it looked like that little meeting we had might have worked because Fawn is definitely in trouble with this one. Are you going to put anything, like any background? I'm finishing what's there first, and then I'm going to kind of like reassess. If you don't get to do any background, I would take a, a big chunky liner and do a green outline just because this value-wise is so close to his skin tone. Cam has somehow found a way to at once use every single color and still have his tattoo look pale as hell. I'm impressed, but also pissed. Make the shirt darker, because like if you stand back from it, you can't quite tell that it's a shirt. I can't go that much darker, man. Yeah, you can. Why is he trying to hurt me, I wonder. Today, you had to show solid color theory by creating a new school tattoo. Jake. Most of the pizza I eat has crust underneath the entire piece of pizza. It's not just a round log with cheese dripping straight downward. The drawing gets a little bit away from the fact that it's pizza. It becomes pretty much a melting skull. It's tough for somebody immediately to just be like, boom, that's what that is. It looks clean. I do like a tattoo artist to know if I can draw it. Cam. The design of the spaceship, it's questionable. It could just be some kind of a socket to a light bulb, and the jacket matches the glass. Nothing pops, nothing stands out. What you're missing here, man, is power. What you're missing here is that thick outline. Push this thing forward so the legibility comes to the light. Fun. Go get him, buddy. Wish me luck. It looks like you put the stencil on the dark. You just put the boot right into the other tattoo. Because he had a small arm. Dude, you're telling me that that boot can't move over a quarter of an inch? I know you're in a hurry, but damn. And then we've got that bottom horse hoof. Nobody knows where that foot's coming from. Nobody knows where that foot's going to. It looks like you were like, oh, shit. What am I going to do? Yeah, and I, just, you had to I was come just through. focused on finishing, honestly. This is a tougher outing for you today. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Jimmy, why did the women's team vote Cam to the bottom? A few of the design flaws that he had in there is what brought him down here. That shadow of the vest doesn't come all the way down. The confusion of the hand being turned a little bit, it didn't meet completely 100% of the challenge that a lot of other people did. I really didn't want to be in this position ever. Look at your tattoo. First of all, it don't even look like a race. Is that a hyena? Mine look like is a horse riding a, a cowboy. What does his look like? A big ass eye stuck in a light bulb. Exactly. With the time he was given, that tattoo should have been flawless. We like, were all given the, the same amount of time. And, I'm not here to make no excuses. It was my fault that I had to brush, and this is what I came up with. You've got to be able to come up with the simplest way to make the strongest tattoo that you can do in six hours. You stumbled hard, and it shows in the end product. Today's tattooing comes down to three guys that could be in the finale like that. So seeing one of you guys leaving today, this is a big day. I just feel like mine, though, at all of them is technically the most solid. It just doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like. It's just a crazy thing that has some crazy face on it. Pizza is a triangle and debatably the easiest shape to draw. That was your ticket. 
as cluttered and confusing as Cam's tattoo is, I'm going between Jake and Fawn. Why are you choosing that one? Just be safe. Because I don't want a horse f***ing a cowboy, and I don't want a skull that I have no f***ing idea what it is. That's what that guy wanted. You gotta be salesman. That's part of this competition. Judges, can I get a final decision? Out of the three, the one that is the hardest for me to read is gonna be Jake. I'll vote for Fawn. My votes for Fawn. The judges have decided, Fawn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It is gonna be tough seeing black and gray tattoos coming out of here and you're not doing them. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you must push your creativity to the limit and create a new school food tattoo. What? What's gonna show off color theory more than a new school tattoo? They're super colorful, bright tattoos with a lot of dynamic shapes. I'm down to eat that up. Oh man, this is gonna get real wacky. Food tattoos in general are a little strange to me. You need to stop trying to make art out of food. Food is to be eaten. Just eat it. Are you sure we can do black and gray? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a color challenge. Are you into me incorporating like a second flower with it? It's the curse of the golden skull. You get skull pics and you f it all up. How do I make it more weird, Jimmy? But you gotta make it exaggerated somehow. The cup of coffee should be cartoony. I learned how to draw a coffee mug so it looks like a coffee mug, and now I've got to like bend it all over the place. And whenever I try to distort it, it just looks wrong. Like not cool, just bad. I feel like the more I draw this cup, the less I like it. Make it like shorter and fatter. Okay, so I should just redraw the whole thing. Don't, don't redraw the whole thing. All right. Don't stress out. It's just frustrating. Oh wow, well, so cute. Super bright colors. Yeah. Um, I actually don't like coffee. Okay. So could you yeah. change it into like a jar of jam? Let me think about that. So I'm like, this is like, I don't like coffee. Can you change that to a jar of jam? <laughs> what? Just right now? Yeah. New school is like the antithesis of what my natural style is. And I'm trying not to panic, but I'm just kind of losing it. I'm stressed out. You drew that? Yeah. You're a cartoonist, aren't you? Yeah, I used to do graffiti. There's no way I would have had these lines as crispy as this on the ribs. I think he struggled the most. You can tell that they've never drawn anything cartoony. Oh. Jess says it's just applied bad, and it's kind of drawn bad. Kay's is not new school. It basically looks like a K tattoo that she threw two extra colors in. I'm super happy with how bright it is and how clean it yeah, is. Yeah, it's like half in the color. They're so far off from new school. Today, you had to show color theory with a new school food tattoo. Let's see how you did. Jordy, your pig is so legible. Then your eye goes lower, and there's so much darkness and contrast issues, and it's very difficult to figure out what this pig is hanging over. Then off to the side of this smoke that's billowing off of it, you have this other feature. It's supposed to be the top of the grill. I don't know that it's ribs. I don't know that it's a grill. It's just like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Yeah. East, you're up next. Jessa. As far as color theory here goes, there's no pop in this. It's flat, it's boring. The transition of magenta to pink, it looks like sidewalk chalk. For what it is, it should be blasted with color. And these colors really just play into your canvas's skin tone. You can do color palettes that are not the real color palette of the real thing. Damn. OK. What did you do in this that you thought was new school? Exaggerating the shape of the top flower and the shape of the jam jar. I don't think you made an outrageous shape of anything. It looks like a painterly life study. All right. Jimmy, why did the jury appears vote Jordy to the bottom? We felt like Jordy's was definitely the most illegible. As far as color theory goes, it's kind of out of the window. Kind of obvious I was going to get picked, 
one third of the jury appears down here with me. This tattoo has definitely got some questionable imagery in it. The bottom part of this tattoo is one of the most unlegible tattoos of the day. But I felt like I did attempt to do the ask. I just feel like Kate didn't even try to do new school. I don't think that I ended up with a very new school piece. I'm not gonna try to stand here and say that. That'd be ridiculous. But I did try to distort things and add different perspective to it. It's stale, man. You gotta push the envelope. I am exhibiting the brightest color that's in the tattoos that are here. I mean, especially if I look at Jordy's tattoo. But you do I, have the I worst am, outline. I am making intelligent color choices within the piece. I would rather wear either mine or Kay's tattoo. I think I tried to give you bright color. Your color choices are really boring and stagnant. The purple magenta stripe that you put into it without fading it or blending it, this is just straight application issues from the technical side, and it doesn't work today. All three of these tattoos have technical application problems. All three of these tattoos have drawing problems. All three of these tattoos have problems hitting the challenge. I look at Jordy's tattoo, I see a pig. I don't know what I see underneath it, but I see a pig. I look at Kay's tattoo, it's obviously some kind of pastry, but I'm having the, the hardest time reading Jess's tattoo. But out of the three, hers is the most new schooly. Jordy's man, when you have a tattoo that's not a cover up, that looks like a cover up, that's one of the big killers. My vote's for Jordy. Because I dislike all three of these equally, I will bring it to which one I would least like to eat. And for that, Jordy, I don't know what's in that pot. So my vote is for Jordy. The judges have decided, Jordy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I appreciate the opportunity. I definitely learned a lot. Jason, it's gonna be pissed. Please pack your machines and close shop.